Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night That a flag was still there Who say does that star-spangled Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you to our friends and family who are with us this evening to celebrate the class of 2020. My name is William Hall and it's with great honor to welcome you to our home. As a freshman, I remember being lost constantly and always being worried that I would be stuffed into a locker. Now as a senior, I see the freshmen and remember these times. The past four years at Hobart High School were some of the best years of my life. We leave this school with knowledge, wisdom, friends, all of these will carry with us for the rest of our lives. As we thank all of our parents who have sent us off in first grade and now we're graduating. You have dealt with your senior through the worst times and the most triumphant times. We as the class of 2020, thank you. The class of 2020 has brought young entrepreneurs, future CEOs, future medical personnel, and so forth. As you listen and celebrate the class of 2020, please do not be sad for us. Instead, please be excited for the future lives that we will have. Now, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. And always remember, once a brickie, always a brickie. Thank you. Lauren Romeo. An athlete, a scholar, and an amazing friend. Lauren was loyal, attentive, unique, radiant, empathetic, and most importantly, neat. Smart, funny, caring, athletic. Lauren graduates with us. She was a kind-hearted, intelligent person who had an impact on so many of our lives. Lauren graduates with us. Hey, I'm Lauren Romeo. I'm number nine. I'm a senior, and I play forward for your lady Brent. Lauren, Lauren graduates, graduates with, us. with us. We miss you, Lauren. For those in the class of 2020 who don't know me, my name is Jack Huber. We went to high school together. I'd first like to thank everyone here for watching what might be the most unique graduation ceremony in the history of Hobart High School. You see, this whole high school thing is complicated. We spent three and a half years rushing to grow up until that inevitable brick of emotion hits us right in the chest and we realize that the time has gone by too fast. The thing is, endings always stink. Whether it's a book, TV show, or a movie, the ending is always bittersweet. Because towards the end, we begin to care less about the destination we've worked so hard to get to and more about the journey we've had, everything that we've overcome. What I think I'll remember most from high school are the relationships I made and of course, the three years of Spanish. But as we entered high school in August of 2016, the world was different. We were different. But like everything, we changed. By the time senior year rolled along, I felt as if our class had finally coalesced together. We were never the class of groups and cliques, but we had finally become the class of good times, 
the class that would have taken full advantage of senior privileges, and the class that would have risked it all to pull off a senior prank. What happened to us and seniors all across the country is absolutely heartbreaking. However, this is life. This is our life. The universal truth that we have been so eager to confront is now here, sooner than expected, and it's staring us right in the face. Graduates, today, we are forced to say the goodbyes that we wish we had said on March 13th, the day that none of us knew would be our last day of high school. These kinds of goodbyes, they make you think. They make you realize what you've had, what you've lost, and what you've taken for granted. Saying goodbye to Hobart High, the school district, and everyone that we grew up with is bittersweet. But this ending, unlike many others, is a happy one. It is one that we can all say that we were a part of regardless of everything in the world working against us. We made it. We may have had a rough landing, but I can say confidently that this graduating class has left a mark on Hobart High School that will not be so easily erased. Class of 20, the show goes on forever. Thank you. To begin, I'd like to thank all friends, family members, and parents for providing us with encouragement and support by celebrating with us today. I'd also like to thank all teachers and staff members throughout the school district for patiently guiding us through several years of growth and discovery. Your dedication and faith has never failed to nourish us with joy. And finally, I'd like to thank Dr. Buffington and all members of Hobart School Board for making our experiences their priorities. Thank you. Class of 2020, the past four years have given us countless trials, challenges, milestones, and wins. Together, we've navigated through some of the most demanding years of our lives. We've pursued our personal interests, we've supported each other, we've learned how to grow, and we've grown together. And now, we graduate together. As we all move on to experience such monumental shifts in our lives, I encourage us all to look forward to the vast amount of possibilities that the future holds. And because it can be intimidating to imagine the possibilities of the future, we can begin by considering the possibilities that accompany one piece of paper. One piece of paper holds a lot of opportunity. It can be used to write the lyrics of future Grammy-winning singles, to document the business plans of future Fortune 500 companies, and to devise the equations of future scientific breakthroughs. So when we receive the piece of paper that declares us official high school graduates, nothing is stopping us from shaping society's future as your perspective politicians, entrepreneurs, artists, athletes, doctors, engineers, soldiers, and laborers. We already have college-bound athletes who are ready for the next step, musicians who have released their own singles, artists who have displayed their own work in exhibits, and even our own guardian angel. We have visions and voices that will soon be seen and heard, and we are the creators of tomorrow. Class of 2020, I wish you all the best of luck as you proceed to pursue your dreams. Hello family, faculty, friends, and fellow graduates. My name is Madeline Buxbaum and I am the vice president of the senior class. We have all just accomplished one of life's biggest milestones, high school graduation. Senator Orrin Hatch once said, graduation is not the end, it's the beginning. Graduation is not the end goal itself. It is instead a part of the larger journey of life. Over the past several years, the class of 2020 has navigated rigorous curriculums and extracurriculars to build themselves a happy and successful life. Whether we land ourselves a career, take up a trade, or choose to continue our education, I know this class is equipped with the necessary tools to tackle our future. I'd like to thank the School City of Hobart for guiding us through this difficult journey. We will never forget the years we've spent here, and again, congratulations to the clear vision, the Hobart High School Class of 2020. Class of 2020. Wow, we've been waiting for this day ever since we could remember, and here it is. Today is finally our last hurrah. As we part ways and celebrate all of our accomplishments, I wanted to list a few takeaways that we should all remember when transitioning into the next chapter of our own stories. So here's my list of reminders to you. Number one, be thankful. Two, be kind. Three, take notes. Four, ask questions. Five, be involved. Six, 
work hard. And lastly, number seven, just be yourself. Seniors, we have all experienced numerous ways to improve our lives outside of high school. And this is now our chance. Today is our day to be true adults and to strive for greatness. We are graduating. We have so much to celebrate. So hug your best friend one last time. Take a million pictures and shed those tears. It's now our time to turn to the next chapter of our stories. Thank you all for impacting our lives. We are Hobart, and I couldn't be prouder of the class of 2020. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Terry Butler. I'm the president of the Board of Trustees. I'd like to welcome you to this video message. It's a salute to the class of 2020. Your class has been historic. This year we celebrated with you on the football journey trying to get to state. We fell one game short, but your sportsmanship by student athletes and students was remarkable, much better than the team that we played. We also had a very successful wrestling season. They won the conference. We've had a very successful tennis team. We've competed in numerous uh, JROTC programs and very successful. Emma Wright managed to go to the podium at the state swim finals for the second year. We're very, very lucky to have such outstanding student athletes. This spring, we had two teams place at the Innovate Within uh, contest. They both placed first and second, which is unheard of. They managed to get some cash prizes, which will help with college. And we've had many successes in the fields. Unfortunately, we weren't able to use the card again this year, but it will come back in the future. You also became the first class to graduate in 160 days your senior year. Another thing, please join me in recognizing all the students that are going into the armed services and into the medical field. These students are going into careers to protect and keep all of us safe, both from enemies that we can see and enemies that we cannot see. In closing, think about your future down the road and, your, and when you have your uh, reunions, the stories you'll be able to tell. No other class has been able to do that. That is why you are historic. Thank you. Class of 2020, I remember you so vividly as sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Then I got to know you as 11th and 12th graders. And in a few moments, you will be graduates. We will be peers, community members, and we may even get to work together one day. Some of you will take care of the rest of us as you are entering into the medical field. Some of you will take care of the rest of us as you are entering the trades. Some of you, quite literally, will give us energy as you work with both power lines and renewable energy at places like NIPSCO. Some of you will take care of our children as you enter the education field. Here's the thing. It's always about taking care of each other. And you, class of 2020, have had the opportunity to understand this better than any graduating class before you. I know you will not waste this gift of wisdom, experience, and perseverance. When I came to Hobart High School two years ago, I said right away, that class of 2020 is a fun, spirited group. They have a lot of personality and charisma. I thought so when you were in middle school, and I think so now. I love this about you. Use it. Use your spirit. Use your experiences. Use your wisdom. Yes, you have wisdom at 17 and 18 years old. Demonstrate this through your actions. Work hard and be kind. And on the days that you don't feel like working hard or being kind, do both anyway. Those are the days that often end up counting the most. I've seen you do this. I've seen such beautiful things from you and it has been my honor. Now go show the rest of the world.
Class of 2020, it has been an honor and privilege being your co-principal the last two years. We've known each other for quite some time. In fact, I distinctly remember this class as seventh and eighth graders giving me a run for my money as an assistant principal at Hobart Middle School many years ago. And look at you now, high school graduates, and I couldn't be more proud. Today is a great day, one that you'll never forget. But as you celebrate this great milestone in your life, I encourage you to reflect upon the journey that's gotten you here, because the journey itself is the truest reflection of who you are, much more so than the diploma that you are about to receive. I want you to close your eyes for a moment and remember the lessons that you've learned, both inside and outside the classroom. The loved ones and friends who've supported you along the way. The good times, the not so good times, the tough love when you needed it. The time invested in the sacrifices you've made, whether it was early morning practices or late nights of studying. All the concerts, all the plays, the Friday night lights, the wins, the losses, the falling down, and more importantly, the getting back up. All of it. This road that you've traveled, the people that you've encountered along the way, the experiences you've had and the adversity you've faced is who you are up to this point in your life. The diploma you are about to receive represents both the end of one journey and the beginning of a new one. So as you set off on this new adventure, I encourage you to be driven, set goals for yourself, and reach for the stars. But do not forget to appreciate the journey along the way. You will spend much more of your life on the journeys than you will at the milestones. So you have to make each and every day count. Appreciate the simple things in life. Embrace the challenges set before you. And most importantly, figure it out what it is that you love to do and make sure that you get to do it every day. I wish you all the best life and I cannot wait to see what's in store for you next. That said, with the sanction of the State Department of Education of Indiana and the Cognia accreditation of schools, the administration and faculty declare that the members of the senior class of 2020 have met all state and local requirements. On behalf of the administration and faculty, I wish the class good luck and recommend that they be received with distinction. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good evening. This is Dr. Buffington, Superintendent of Schools. What a perfect evening to celebrate Hobart High School's Class of 2020. Graduates, this is your day. We gather here today to honor you. You have been an outstanding class and have provided positive leadership at Hobart High School. We wish you the brightest future, and after this evening, we will be honored to call you distinguished alumni of Hobart High School. This evening, I would like to welcome our Director of Guidance and School Counselors, Mrs. Danielle Adams. She will share the accomplishments of college and career readiness from the class of 2020. This evening, I would like to recognize the number of seniors who have participated in career and technical education by taking six or more CTE credits in a pathway. This year, we have 190 seniors who have earned their CTE concentrator status by participating in these CTE classes. The graduating class of 2020 has a total of 235 seniors who have earned early college credit while in high school. Of those 235 seniors, 167 have earned 15 or more college credits while in high school. Throughout their four years of high school, the class of 2020 has earned 5,568 college credits with a total savings of $807,415.68. For the first time in Hobart High School history, we have students completing the Statewide Transfer General Education Corps, which is a 30 credit sequence that can be transferred to public universities in the state of Indiana. Those eight students are Asa Bailey, Armando Bernal, Ryan Downs, Nathan Fox, Michael James, 
Charity Kirk, Anande Makire, and Faith Scott. We have also had four students who have earned their associate's degree while in high school, which is a two-year college degree that they can take with them following graduation. Those four students are Sydney Butterfield, Madeline Buxbaum, Christian Paris, and Piper Varney. Students who earned early college credit or CTE concentrator status are wearing gold soles tonight. At this time, we recognize and celebrate the accomplishment of our college and career ready seniors. Thank you. On this wonderful occasion, it is important to acknowledge the educators, parents, and family members who have helped you arrive at this point in your lives. Your homes are filled with lots of proud people celebrating you tonight. Graduates, please thank your teachers, parents, and family members with a big round of applause and a hug if you are close by. As you transition into this new journey of life, see your life as a mission, a mission to impact as many lives as positively as you can. The difference you make tomorrow begins with the decisions you make today. May your good example of character Work and relationships influence many lives with an impact that is far-reaching and long-lasting. Your mission of impact and making a difference in life requires hard work. That oh-so-famous Bricky saying, all my life I want to be a Bricky. Work, work, work. It's so true. It takes hard work to get ahead. Nothing is out of your reach if you work at it. Becoming successful requires deciding where to focus your efforts. This process is not accomplished overnight. In today's world of instant gratification, we often forget that some things take time, practice, and patience to achieve. Along the way, you will find that the most valuable lessons in life are learned from mistakes. Determination and perseverance are key. Graduates, believe in yourself. Own your success by working hard. Make your passion become your work. Pursue a career in something that you absolutely love. It will make going to work every day a pleasure. Graduates, pursue your passion. Be grateful for all of the blessings of life. Do something every day to show compassion and generosity to others. Love sacrificially and I guarantee it will be returned. Graduates, make a difference for others. On this new road that you pursue, do not forget that this is home and we are here for you. You are a Bricky. Once a Bricky, always a Bricky. And now, on behalf of the State of Indiana, the Board of School Trustees, our administrative faculty, your teachers from kindergarten through 12th grade, the support staff, and the entire community of the School City of Hobart who have dedicated themselves to your education, I, as Superintendent of Schools, proudly accept and confirm you, Class of 2020. Congratulations. Andres I. Acosta. Vincent B. Alfaro. Caitlin Nicole Allen. Alex Ian Peter Amore. Andrew Anderson. Caitlin N. Anderson. Miguel Aguiano. Thank you to all my teachers who helped me out. You guys are the best. Uh, 
I've had a lot of amazing teachers over the years, not gonna lie. And thank you to all my friends who helped me out too. You guys are the best. Leo Ariaga. Bobby G. Arvin. I just want to say thanks to all my friends and family, and congratulations to everyone else in the class of 2020. Madeline L. Ayala. Asa Bailey. Isabella Kirsta Bimakovic. Brendan B. Balling. Caleb T. Banhoff. I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family that have been there for me from the start and all the teachers that have believed in me from the very beginning. Thank you all. Andrew P. Batalis. Caleb A. Batalis. Barcelona, California, Arizona. We done with Corona. We all graduating. 2020. Ah. Basilis C. Batalis. Amelia W. Batistatus. Macy L. Beck. Zoe E. Belk. Casey M. Beller. Robert Belshaw. Teresa J. Benoit. Thank you to myself for getting me through the 2020 school year. Matthew H. Benton. Armando Jesus Bernal. Lauren F. Bernhardt. Mary Josephine Bonner. Joshua Dale Breitsprecher. Mercedes Lee Brown. Samantha L. Brown. Troy T. Brown. Maxwell Bruner. Tyler E. Bulatovich. Sydney A. Butterfield. Madeline E. Buxbaum. Madison Bistricki. Hi, my name is Madison Bistricki, and my future plans are to make this foot times 10. Cheyenne Camacho. Uh, here's to graduating. Thank you to everyone that helped me get this far. Thank you to everyone that believed in me, especially when I didn't believe in myself. I love you all. See ya. Jordan Kano. Alyssa Dorothy Lee Carter. Riley Racer Scott Carey. Marco Castillo. Nayeli R. Castillo. Alexander J. Chavez. Angela I. Chavez. Brian Anthony Cherry. Noah G. Chonkoff. Jocelyn Cisnernos. Dennis Clark. 
Abigail L. Clemens. Trinity M. Collins. Antasia Conley. Paige M. Cooper. Brian P. Corbeil, Sierra Cohenhoven, Madison L. Croy, Victoria I. Quadra, Jazrael Davis. Tyler Davis. Hannah Joelle Diarmond. Andrew G. Deering. Carter D. Dillette. Cassidy R. Dillon. Zachary T. Dixon Ryan Downs Riley M. Daltz Zoe Isabella Easton Sergio Eliasson, Jr. Catherine A. Alkman Ryan James Ellenberger John Conrad Fabian Sarah R. Fiddler Jake Fisher Victoria Maria Flores Nathan R. Fox Luis C. Franyi Hannah Denise Fulkerson Billy C. Fulton Hope E. Gaetano. Hi, my name is Hope Gaetano, and I will be attending the University of Notre Dame as a major in psychology on the pre-med track. I want to thank my family for everything they've done to help me. Amanda Garcia. Danielle M. Gayton. Ethan Jules Geelan. Thank you to all my teachers and parents for helping me get through this. William D. Giglio Brett A. Goad Xavier D. Gonzalez Carter J. Gonzalez Julissa Gonzalez Reina Cecilia Gonzalez Justice Marie Greenleaf Daniel Cootie Greenwood Ashton Gregor Jacob O. Gresham Colton M. Grasser 
Joseph Griggs. Hi, I'm Joey Griggs. I'd like to thank my family and friends for supporting me along the way, and I'd like to become a marine biologist after high school. Abigail J. Grusak. Zachary E. Gubricki. Yesenia Alexis Guerrero. Jose B. Guevara. Zoe Alicia Guzman. Noah Haddix McGrath. William D. Hall. Hey guys, Stub Hall here. I just want to thank my mom and dad. I want to thank the teachers that have supported me through these times. You know, we will get through this. Stay strong. Abigail C. Haluska. Jacob Hansen. Neely O. Harp. Naja L. Harrison. Francesca X. Hart. Abby M. Heigel. Catherine W. Hill. Hannah L. Homoki. Hayden J. Homoki. Tyler J. Howerton. Nolani R. Howland. Jack H. Huber. Clarissa N. Hudson. Hi, my name is Clarissa Mavea Hudson. I just want to say thank you to my whole family for always supporting me and believing in me with everything that I do. So thank you. Caleb J. Huffmaster. Dylan G. Hume. Rebecca L. Hunter. Gavin Hurst. Matthew C. Heilick. Christian A. Irizari. Kaylee Lee Isaac. Matthew W. Jacomas. Michael James. Dylan S. Jaskalski. Alexis N. Johnson. Brianna Lynn Johnson. Max V. Johnson. Alyssa M. Jones. Anthony J. Jones. Michaela R. Jones. Class of 2020. I just want to say that I know this year has been stressful, but we made it. This is our time where we need to accomplish our dreams and not let anyone stop us. I wish you all the best in life. Malik Xavier Jair Jones. Megan S. Jones. Phoenix A. Jones. Samaria G. Jones. Christopher Jovanoski. I want to thank my friends. I want to thank my family. Because when Corona's over, we'll all be living happily. 
Happy graduation, guys. 2K20. Peace out. Evan Kara. Nathaniel Lee Carwick. Avery O. Cash. Kyle A. Keen. Anthony Eugene James J. Keown. Haley Curlin. Charity Kirk. Minelos Copenakis. Nicholas Kratkowski. Madison Ann Cradaville. Kenzie J. Kraus. Carla Marie Kroll. Austin J. Kunko. Kylie R. Karina. Justin Taylor Fudge Ledna. Christian N. LaRose. Brandy L. Lazinski. Rebecca M. Lewis. Sarah N. Lewis. Sabian D. Leavers. DeForest Lipke. Sky O. Lipke. Haley Lockard. Christopher T. Logan. Taylor N. Lawless. Mariana Guadalupe Lopez. Leighton J. Lozano. Rebecca P. Lozano. Meredith Ann Lund. Hi, my name is Meredith Lund. I'm enlisting in the Army after I graduate from high school, and I'm so grateful for my parents and grandparents for getting me here today. Cody D. Lyons. Ananda McCary. Angelina M. Maldonado. Victoria Maldonado. Brandon G. Marciniak. Aries R. Marks. Dietrich L. Marks. Kevin R. Martin. Liesel T. Martin. Haley D. Mata. Joseph Paul Mautofu. Abigail Irene McBride. Brianna McCumber. I'm Brianna McCumber, and I would like to thank all of Fort Worth High School, and especially Mr. Wolf, for making my four years memorable. Chad R. McLean. Michaela M. Meehawk.
James Manier, Brianna A. Merritt, Sean A. Metros, Addison Metz, Keely R. Metz, Angel A. Millsap, Sean A. Murr, Letha C. Morgan, Cassandra Morin, Paisley Maureen Daw Mossman. Hi, I'm Paisley Mossman. I plan on going to Purdue Northwest to pursue my career in being an English teacher. I wanted to thank my teachers, my family, and my friends. Thank you so much. Mark Mummy. Delai Mungia. Jay Murphy. Alyssa S. Murray. Alex R. Music. Hannah Elaine Narhes. Cora J. Nice. Samuel James Niederman. Grace N. Nestich. Nick Nikolic. Elizabeth Ann Obradovich. Devin J. O'Brien. Edward A. Okoa. Haley E. O'Connell. Isabella M. Osterley. Madeline J. Oldham. Julia L. Olmos. John A. Olson. Jaden A. Otero. Brittany A. Owens. Jackson P. Palachuk. Christian D. Paris. Nolan R. Paulson. Noah T. Peak. Hello, my name is Noah Peak, and uh, I'd like to thank my family, my friends, and wish everybody good luck. Ciara Perez. Kyle E. Perez. Sydney T. Perez. Carissa Peroski. Sinovia Poole. Gabrielle M. Porras. Taylor L. Puentes. Ariana E. Polito. Hi, my name is Ariana Polito. I'm class of 2020, and I would like to thank my mom for getting me through these past four years of high school. Brianna L. Punak. Natasha L. Qualls. Deja Raquel Quinones. 
Chloe Ray Raditz. Gabriela E. Ramirez. Ivana Ramos. Erica C. Ramlinger. Antonio Reyes, Jr. Mariah L. Reyes. Ian Hunter Richmond. Bradley A. Robeson. Alondra Robles. J. Juan B. Rodriguez. I do want to say thank you to my family, friends, teachers, and coaches for helping me become a Hobart High School 2020 graduate. Cassandra Rojo. Lauren Romeo. Jordan E. Rongstad. Nathaniel M. Roscoe. Brooke Renee Rosenbaum. Vanessa R. Salas. Astero Salpihidis. Congratulations, guys. I'm so proud of us. I want to say thank you to my mom, my siblings, and my best friend for always being there for me. I love you guys. Aaliyah J. Sanchez. Isaiah Sanchez. Mackenzie L. Satterfield. Nathan Shamert. Megan E. Schubert. Thanks to my family and friends who support me my whole life. I plan to attend Florida College in Temple Terrace, Florida, majoring in music education. I'm so excited to begin this new chapter in my life. Tyler J. Schultz. Egypt N. Scott. Faith Ruth Scott. Caitlin M. Serato. Nadia Sfernacious. Robert Isaiah Shelton. Noah Ian Schinnebarger. Cynthia M. Sierra. Riley V. Sierra. I wanted to thank my friends and my family and anybody else who thought I could get here. And for the rest of you guys, congrats. Lance Skog. Christopher C. Skripak. Ashantiana Smith. Luke D. Smith. Thank you to my mom and dad, Jan Osika, Miss Krieg, and Coach Dom Rogers for pushing me all four years of high school. Luke A. Smith. Sarah C. Spaulding. Mackenzie Lynn Steege. Ayana Lane Steele. Samuel N. Stevens. Hi, my name is Samuel Stevens. I'm planning on going to Purdue Northwest. And I just want to say I'm very thankful for my mom and dad helping me with this journey. Alana Stottlemyre. 
Ryan A. Strickland. This is Ryan Strickland. I'm a senior at Hobart High School. I just want to say thank you for four years of fun years of high school things. It was fun, and once a week, always a bricky. Natalia L. Suazo Bonilla. Evelyn Tinglestad. This isn't how I expected my graduation, but thank you to everybody who made Hobart an amazing place to come back to. Thank you, Ms. Gansky, especially, and uh, we did it. Ciara R. Tinoco. I want to thank my family and my teachers and my friends for always encouraging me. Congratulations of class of 2020. Jordan D. Tolliver. Nicholas Tremblay. Kevin Udave. Sean M. Underdahl. Trevor A. Underdahl. Jocelyn M. Valenzuela. Abigail Van Voren. Cameron R. Vanderberg. Audrey J. Van. Piper A. Varney. Gabriella N. Vasquez. Chet W. Wagner. Stone A. Wall. Patrick E. Walsh. I'd like to thank all the teachers and staff that helped me get to where I am today. Without y'all, I won't be here. Thanks for helping me graduate and being able to succeed in life. Nina J. Warren. Mattia Phoenix Washington. Caitlin M. Weber. Kira M. Waddell. Devon M. Whiting. Jaden R. Weibel. Matty A. Willis. Justin A. Wineland. Robert K. Wineland. Austin A. Winecki. Luke P. Wood. Nathan T. Wright. Austin C. Yergler. Tyler J. Yester. Griffin R. Zimmerman. Patience M. Zimmerman. Tonight represents the beginning of your life's next great adventure. Some of you will stay, some will go, some will go to school. All of you are going to start writing that next new story. And I want you to remember that Hobart High School will always be home to your memories, to where you make good friends, solved equations, wrote essays. Now's your time to journey into the global marketplace with integrity, courage, and tenacity. I stand positive that you've built a solid foundation on which to begin, and I trust that you will prevail with the fortitude of Generation Z. Determine to wake up every morning and be your best self, not just do your best. Something I've learned along the way and I find true is treat others as you want to be treated. 
and that we each have our own stories. So be kind because it matters. Love what you have. Be grateful for it. Don't judge others. Think about what President Teddy Roosevelt said. Comparison is the thief of joy. Travel into your next great story and be genuine. Be vulnerable. Remember that time heals everything. So give yourself time. Know that happiness is a choice. Take time to laugh and know great joy. Congratulations, class of 2020. I will surely miss you, and I wish you the best adventure in life. Good evening. I'm Miss Nelson, senior class co-sponsor. As I sat down to think about and hopefully write meaningful words to say to you this evening, a song started to play and I was immediately drawn to its words. Now many of you have teased me about my affinity for country music, so I found it incredibly humorous that the song was a country song. The song is Humble and Kind by Tim McGraw. The words, you know there's a light that glows by the front door. Don't forget the keys under the mat. When childhood stars shine, always stay humble and kind. Go to church because your mama says to. Visit grandpa every chance that you can. It won't be wasted time. Always stay humble and kind. Hold the door, say please, say thank you. Don't steal, don't cheat, and don't lie. I know you've got mountains to climb, but always stay humble and kind. When the dreams you're dreaming come to you, when the work you put in is realized, let yourself feel the pride, but always stay humble and kind. Don't expect a free ride from no one. Don't hold a grudge or a chip, and here's why. Bitterness keeps you from flying. Always stay humble and kind. Don't take for granted the love this life gives you. When you get where you're going, don't forget to turn back around and help the next one in line. Always stay humble and kind. Class of 2020, don't think of this as an ending. Think of it as a new chapter that you will write for yourself. You have faced challenges and obstacles and experienced failures and successes. It's all these experiences that have developed who you are now. You now have the power in your hands to continue on the adventure you have been on or take an entirely different path. But you have to be the one to make that decision. Whatever that decision may be, Know that you will always be one of our kids, no matter how old you get, and that we will always be there for you. And please, don't forget, no matter what road you take, to always be humble and kind. Please take your tassel from the right side of your cap and place it to the left side over your heart. Congratulations, you are now alumni of Hobart High School. We see.